my name is Lauren Vincent. I'm one of the application specialists for Large Dozers. Today I want to take the time to talk to you about some of the technology on the D9, D10, and D11. We'll start with the Auto Blade Assist, work up to Auto Carry and Auto Rip, cover the Cat Grade Control, Terrain with Blade Control, Remote Control, and some of the semi-autonomous tractor solutions that we have today out in the field. Well, let's start with the new D11 over here and the dual tilt cylinder that we have on the machine left-hand side. As you can see, it does have dual tilt. We are standard on the D11 with dual tilt, and when you get dual tilt on large tractors, we have a feature that's called automatic blade assist. What that does is it positions the blade into three separate positions, a cut position, a carry position, and then a dump or spread position. But what this does is it really helps transfer the load of that material into that carry position, make it easier for your operator to run the machine, and get more production at the same time. So we've seen with dual tilt and automatic blade assist, some customers get up to 5% even higher, more production. This D11 is also equipped with position sensing cylinders. These cylinders are used during the auto carry section uh, and technology on the, these machines. During the cut, carry, and dump when you're using ABA, when you're in the carry cycle, you can push another button on the joystick and what it will do is it will manage the height of the blade with the lift cylinders to make sure you reduce track slip and get more production out of the machine. We've seen this feature utilized with, with new and upcoming operators and they're getting up to 15% more production and better control of the blades. Two of the offerings that we have from a technology is gonna be auto ripper control by itself and it also gets paired with the auto carry solution. One of the things that I wanted to point out on the auto rip is it definitely uses the GPS technology just like the auto carry to help manage the speed of the machine to help reduce undercarriage wear and track slip. One of the things it's going to do is it's going to lower your engine speed and help do a ripper raise as well to make sure you're maintaining that speed if the machine does end up lugging down from having a heavy rip application. Uh, two of the new features that we have on the auto rip is going to be with the inertial mass measuring unit that we have on the on the back of the ripper. It's going to help establish a floor so the ripper frame will go and stop at the horizontal plane and then it also has a shank in capability. So the ripper floor and the shank in capability uh, will have to be enabled if you're looking to use those features. All of these automatic ripper control features are there really to help the operator improve his experience during the ripping application. One of the other technologies that we have in the large dozers is really focused on the D9, and that's going to be the CAT grade control. This system works very similar to the terrain with blade control, where you're going to have a two position sensing cylinders up in the front and two GPS antennas up in the back. But it's really focused on the construction industry, where you can load the plan on the display itself up in the front of the machine and get this machine up and running, moving the machine and material to the right position at the right time. This D11 is configured with terrain with blade control. One of the things you'll notice is there's two GPS antennas up on top of the ROPS, and we've got the position sensing cylinders up in the front of the machine. These combined with the, the measurements of the machine will help lock in a data plan that's been loaded using the terrain software. So we've seen some customers use activities where they've seen a 30% improvement on getting the right material moved to the right location the very first time. One of the other offerings that we have on the Large Dozer's next generation is the factory ready remote control. This offers all the hardware and wiring on the operator platform to help get the final installation product quicker to the end customer. With station, over the shoulder council, and non-line of sight, we have over 150 machines at this point in time that we've seen have this remote control technology. The semi-autonomous tractor system, or SATS, is one of the last pieces that combines all of the technology that we talked about. We've seen a single operator run up to four machines to help a customer get more production at a lower cost per ton. I would like to thank you today for taking the time to learn about the technology offerings that we have for the CAT Large Dozers. Each of these technologies are building blocks which help you turn a good operator into a great one and help improve the bottom line of your operations. If you have any questions on these technologies, please reach out to our Dozer Application Specialist or your local CAT dealer.